looking at a train XV system. Boo boo boo. Right there. And the alert codes at the thermostat are stating hard lockout, max number of lockouts. And then there's another alert that says something about equipment change. And there has not been an equipment change. So, let's figure it out. Typically, this just ends up being a system reset situation most of the time. Said so, so it has something to do with dip switches, TAM at 9, TAM 8, whatever. But it's completely communicating. There are no dip switches that get changed or any of that nonsense on one of these units. As soon as you power it up, it communicates indoor, outdoor, all that good stuff. And uh, lets you know that everything's running good. There's nothing that really has to be set up. So I'm just gonna see what our alert history is out here. Oh, CDP yellow dome temperature sensor that may be our problem max normal lockouts hard lockout so it may be this dome temperature sensor we have had some issues with those so let's uh let's check it before i turn this thing on it's been off so everything should be cool stabilized basically to the outdoor temperature out here and uh it's been in a lockout, so the unit hasn't been running. So compressor should be cooled down. So let's go in here real quick and see what it tells us that our dome temperature sensor is reading. So go over to uh oh, I'll go back into that to the monitor menu. system and let's see what our dome temperature sensor is reading ambient 91 coil sensor 92 so those are both pretty accurate to what the current temperature is outside suction sensor at 90 so that's good and our dome temperature sensor is reading 291 degrees and the unit has been off so there's no way that compressor is 291 degrees so we need to get a dome temperature sensor for this thing easy peasy but i'm gonna reset it and get it on see what it does gotta wait for this to discharge completely board lights that'll go blank here in a minute and that'll let me know we have discharged enough that I can just hurt it click and there, that goes blank and we'll put the power back on now Ooh, a couple of little flashes and we'll power it back up and it should, after a little standby time, come on and start running, but it's going to shut back off that dome temperature sensor, which is on top of the compressor in here. And I take that cover off. It's telling me it's 291 degrees on a compressor that has been off all day. So, easy peasy. We just need to get a dome temperature sensor. Guys, first thing I want to do though is confirm this and check my DC voltage. So I need the, the book. There is a chart in the book. Ooh, dome temperature sensor ambient 
sensors. And let's see, we're dome temperature sensors right here. So that's going to be pins 1 and 10. So that should be those two red wires right there on the end of that plug. Let's see what our DC voltage is going to give us for that. Telling us 0.248 volts DC right there. Find our chart. 0.24 is 275 degrees. So right now it's telling us 271. And we ohm it out as well. But you gotta. up here separate our wires up here so there's our dome temperature sensor plug there so now I'm going to own this out real quick corresponds to our temperature that is well out of range obviously I want to make sure the compressor is not hot I'm just assuming it's going to be this sensor because I've replaced several of them so we're going to get the top off and we're going to make sure that compressor is not hot but it's been in a hard lockout so it's been off most of the day so it shouldn't be 200 and 75 degrees. So let me get the top off. Alright, so we've got the top off. There's our compressor, and yes, it is blue. So the dome temperature sensor is right here on top of this compressor. And uh, if it was 275 degrees, I wouldn't be putting my hand on it like that. So it's cool. It is not overheated. That lets me know for a fact it's not 275 degrees right here. So let's get the sensor swapped out and uh, it's got this thing they put around it for noise for whatever reason, I guess. I don't know. But uh, let's get this thing out of here. Swap it out. The wire harness runs up the back corner of this thing and then back in over the top where everything plugs in. So we're going to slide this panel up. The easiest way to slide this panel up is there's a little tab right down here. Once you pop that open, you should be able to get this thing to start sliding upwards. Well, there's not too much dirt packed into it. So you can see these harnesses come out of the bottom down here under the coil and then they just run right on up there. So it's got zip ties in here. There's a zip tie in the bottom. I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to cut the wire for the sensor. And then I'm going to start sliding it out from up here. Pull that right on out. And then I'm going to do the same thing from the inside. And there's a little tab that you kind of 
push down there and get this thing to pop out. And voila. And I'm going to do the same thing from in here. I'm just pulling it out. And that is your dome temperature sensor on our XV compressor. So to get the new one in, that's a little tricky. Alright, I got the new one back in just to give you a rundown. All I did was snap that on, straightened out my wire, and if you look down in the bottom, there's a little channel down there where the harness goes through. I just laid that plug down in that channel and was able to reach in. Was able to reach in over here and grab it and pull it out, and run it back up the inside, then bring it over the top right here where I'll plug it back in at. So, um, not that bad getting one back in. Let me get the cover back around the compressor, get it put back on, or get the top put back on, then we'll fire it up. We'll check our sensor, make sure everything's reading right, and that should fix our problem. Let's put the power back on. And it's gonna boot up. Establishing communications. And then we'll go back in and see what our compressor temperature is now. Before it fires off. Monitor menu. Uh, temperature sensors. And we are now reading an 85 degree dome temperature sensor. So, little sensors, man. There's so many sensors in these things these days, and the new ones come with even more so a little a little sensor puts you out of commission these days well, it is what it is I mean waiting for the compressor to start up it's in a delay mode there we go it's calling for 100% capacity Oop. So we're calling for a 100% compressor and she has started up. This one's quiet. So we're running at 2,399 RPMs. So this thing's probably going to go into compressor lube and oil return mode because it's been off so long. System status cooling and well, maybe not. Usually, if it's been off for a while, it'll go into an oil return and compressor lube. If the compressor's been off a while, it's going to run up to about 2400 RPMs to bring the oil to the top of the compressor for a few minutes, and get it lubricated, and then uh, go back to normal operating speed. But there you go, temperature sensor took it out you gotta love it